Good morning, friends. So today is Monday. Um, I don't even know what the date is. I think it's May 9th. Today is Monday, May 9th. And I'm going to do a little bit of vlogging for you guys today. Um, I'm going to film my workout split video <clears throat> as soon as I show you guys my training for today. Because I want to show this workout because this video, or this workout is strictly towards thinning out your legs and I get a lot of questions on that and kind of how I did that and you know my legs aren't as thin as I would like them to be but you know I like love your body love your curves you know my legs aren't the thinnest right now <clears throat> the thinnest they've ever been um just because when I gain weight which I've probably gained five pounds in like two weeks which it's fine whatever that's really easy to lose um but if I gain weight it literally goes to my legs like that's 100% my spot. I'm not even ashamed to say that. That's where my weight goes. So I'm not like super concerned about gaining five pounds, guys. That's not what this is about. It's just I'm switching up my training and I'm going to do plyometrics three times a week, which is really, really, really high intensity, like explosive movements, trying to get your heart rate up there and really focusing on explosive movements. And you guys are going to see what I mean by that when I show you guys my training, but like box jumps, squat jumps, you know, really, really high intensity stuff. Um, but today is going to be like that. It's going to be a really long training session, but I'm going to show you guys the plyometrics part. Um, I am going to try and train every single body part every day. And I used to do that last summer and I really loved it. So I'm switching it up a little bit. Um, some people don't agree with training everything every day, but that's just the way I did it last summer and I really did love it. So I'm going to switch up my training today. Uh, but <clears throat> another thing with the plyometrics is you are doing higher reps and explosive movements to keep your heart rate up and burn ton, like a lot more calories. And if you look up the definition of plyometrics, it's explosive movements. So you're going to get really tired, but you're going to see results in your booty and your legs. I promise you. So if you guys do this workout that I'm going to show you guys, you're definitely going to feel the burn. You're definitely going to be sore, um, but you got to keep doing it. You got to keep pushing through it, <clears throat> doing it two to three times a week. You're going to see better results. Um, so yeah, I am just going to start doing plyometrics just because I am going on vacation in June and <clears throat> my legs are not like, I'll, I'll show you guys my legs. They're not <clears throat> um, anything like, they're just like if I could lose, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. My legs are just, <clears throat> my legs are just at their prime right now. I don't have a lot of fat on my legs, it's just like right in here, but I don't know if you care what's on my legs, but I'm just saying, that's where I hold my fat is my legs. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm also going to show you guys how to do your workout splits. So this is kind of a fun video. It's like leg plyometric workout and how to make up your own workout split. So I will talk to you guys in the next clip, which will probably be at the gym. Um, a lot of people ask me what my morning routine is still. Um, and what I do is I wake up, I have coffee. Um, my coffee is just literally changes every day. I just have like one pod and then I do um, like two or three packs of sweetener depending on the day and then I do like the original powder creamer you can get it anywhere like it's just generic I get the generic kind just the original powdered creamer and then I also before I go to the gym I'm not going to go until I finish this this is just crystal light um in a Starbucks cup and I just drink the whole thing it just gets your metabolism going just keeps your heart um healthy I don't know there's tons of benefits to drinking water in the morning but it really gets your body going so that is what I'm doing right now and I will see you guys at the gym for my workout Accepting the stars and pouring rain And I know that I can't ever tell you enough That all I need in this life is your crazy love If I never get to see the northern lights Or if I never get to see the Eiffel Tower at night Oh, if all I got is your hand in my hand Baby, I could die in that bed
bring me to my knees Oh, but that black dress Makes it hard to breathe You're a saint, you're a goddess The cutest, the hottest masterpiece It's too good to be true Nothing better than you in my wildest dreams And I know that I can't ever tell you enough That all I need in this life Is your crazy love If I never get to see the northern lights Or if I never get to see the Eiffel Tower at night Oh, if all I got is your hand in my hand Baby, I could die and have to be you guys now because I'm gonna get a question on it and I did um, the question is how do you make your oats I saw them on your snapchat and they look super good so I'll just show them to you guys this is what they look like um I wish I could show you guys more of in it I don't know if you guys can see in there there you go um that is what it looks like in the jar there you go um and essentially all it is is they're called overnight oats and all I do <clears throat> is I take I'll list it here you take a half cup of old-fashioned oats and then you take a half cup of um, unsweetened almond milk. You can do regular almond milk or whatever milk you have. Just do, match the oats with whatever um, milk you prefer. I did unsweetened almond milk and then I added in um, this stuff I found at Walmart yesterday. It's like five calorie agave nectar. It's in the section where you find like honey and agave, but it's like only five calories. I'll show it to you guys. Just regular agave nectar or honey, but I used this 
and it's only five calories and that's why i liked it because agave nectar is like honey which is like carbs and i didn't want to overpower the carbs so you do half cup of oats half cup of milk um like just like a squirt of this in there a little bit of vanilla and then i did one sweetener pack and then i did blueberries in this one and i added some sprinkles and that's literally all it is and then all you do is just shake it in the jar and you throw it in the fridge and this is what it comes out like and it's super good i eat it cold i don't heat it up some people do but i like it cold and i'm just eating it with my um egg white omelet so that's how you make overnight oats it's like the most simple thing ever i like to make it for dinner sometimes too so just how to make that all right hi guys so <laughs> i can't even look at what i have hey do you want to be in the video i don't know if that means yes or no um okay so i'm finally filming unless my dog rips it up how to figure out your own workout splits and how to kind of do it yourself so that you don't have to be constantly bored and i tried to make a list as best i could obviously these are not all the exercises you could do you can literally do anything but i'm just going to give you guys kind of a basic structure on how you can make your workout split each week um, a lot of people struggle and think that they need to be doing the same things or they think that they should just be doing upper body lower body well you don't have to do it like that um i'm just going to kind of explain how you can split it up so if you are going for just a normal workout split you don't really want to lose fat you don't really want to gain muscle you just kind of want to lift um you could do anything like you literally need to split these days up on what's going to be comfortable for you um, i work out six days a week so this is the example i'm going to be giving if you work out less than that cool just switch it up um so examples would be like this will be my first example you could do um like a standard split of like legs twice a week so that would be two of your days um, I personally like to train legs the first day of the week so you could do Monday's legs and then Tuesday could be you know back and biceps and then Wednesday could be shoulders and then Thursday could be legs and then Friday could be back and biceps again and then um, Friday could be or Saturday could be shoulders again that's just a standard split um, a lot of times people pair certain muscle groups together like I showed you guys my workout last week and it was chest buys and tries um, which a lot of people don't like to pair three muscle groups together but I just did that day and that's kind of how I've been doing it so it's really up to you uh, right now I am kind of moving into training every muscle every day and that's what I did last summer and I know some people are against that but being a girl we train differently than guys some guys uh, guys can do like the split muscle groups better just because they um, they have more testosterone and they're able to uh, like their body parts work differently than us like we need to train everything every day in order to get like so that your body's not losing so that you're not underworking a certain area um, and that's kind of way more like once you've gotten into lifting kind of like myself I've been lifting for quite a while you can do the split muscle groups and it works just as fine like I'm not going against that because I still do that but um, a lot of times when you're starting out working out you want to train everything every day just a little bit of everything every day and that you'll see better results that way but once you've kind of gotten into the fit stage and you're kind of like okay with where you're at you can definitely split up the muscle groups just to dedicate more time to that muscle um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just looking to switch it up a little bit so I am going to be doing uh, a little bit of everything every day um, I think two days a week I'm gonna do strictly like upper body but um, Honestly, you just do it however you want, you know, if you want to train, like if you want to do like the most standard of standard, you could do, you know, upper body on Monday, Tuesday, lower body, um, and then Wednesday, upper body again, Thursday would be lower body again, and then Friday you could do both, and Saturday you could just do cardio. So, um, yeah, that's just another example. Uh, right here, I'm going to list right here, I'm going to kind of name them, but I'm just going to list them on the sides like of what you could do a lot of times of what muscle groups are paired together. So like if you're doing six days and you want to train, let's say you want to train legs twice a week. So you could have, I'm going to put legs right here, so that would be one of your muscle groups that you're training during the week. And then you could have back and biceps, shoulders, and then you could have, um, uh, crap, <laughs> back and biceps, then you could do 
chest and chest you could literally I just like I, I don't know like everybody switches it up differently I'm sorry this is not how I wanted this to go but moral of the story split it up how you want look up on the internet what opposing groups are gonna like what people normally do I just kind of told you guys like back and biceps um, you know I did chest buys and tries you could do triceps and shoulders you could do legs and shoulders a lot of people like to train legs with upper bodies so I don't personally I like to dedicate my time to my lower body. I may throw in a little bit of upper body, but that day is not dedicated to upper body. That day is dedicated to crushing my legs. Um, but another example, like I said, I'm switching it up. So right now, like today, I did three supersets of arms. And um, then what you guys are going to see, what you guys saw in this video, was three supersets of plyometric legs. Um, actually, yeah, three supersets of plyo legs. So today was upper body and lower body, and I did literally probably every muscle group. Um, the workout killed me. I was dead at the end, and I also did 20 minutes on the bike. Um, that's a whole different story. I'm not going to talk about HIIT or cardio on this because everybody's different. I'm not going to tell you guys what I do for cardio or HIIT just because what I do is not going to make you lose weight. Like, this is something that a lot of people struggle with is that, oh, I want to look like her, so what are you doing for cardio? No, that's not how it works. Um, any form of cardio is fine. It just depends on what you enjoy. That's what I tell people. Do cardio that you enjoy. If you hate running on a treadmill, don't freaking run on a treadmill. Like, I swear there's a ghost in my house. Don't run on a treadmill if you don't like running on the treadmill. I personally don't like running on the treadmill. You know, I've, I have my days where I'm like, I'm going to sprint. And then there's days where I'm like, hell nah, I am not running. Like, today, I could not even walk up the stairs to get up to the cardio machine. So I was like, fuck it, I'm doing the bike. Um, which, I really enjoy the bike for cardio. I guess I can tell you guys that. I really do enjoy the bike. I never used to because I used to think, oh my god, that's not going to do anything. It's not the truth, guys. If your heart rate's getting up and you're burning calories, it's going everywhere. It's not just if you do, like, a leg machine, like... If you do like the elliptical that you're gaining muscle in your legs, yes, you may have a little bit of muscular growth in your legs, but that doesn't mean that it's only working out your legs. Cardio, burning calories equals weight loss. That's just the way it is. It's cardio, any form, anything you do, hit, whatever, you're still burning calories. Like if you put on one of those heart rate meters, heart rate monitors, it's going to tell you how much you burn and that's literally going to tell you what's going down on your body. Because if you're doing cardio and you're burning calories, that's that's it. It doesn't matter what you do. Do what you freaking like. You know, there's days when I like doing HIT, which is, you know, 15, 10 to 15 minutes of high intensity cardio, high intensity interval training. And it is like freaking killer, guys. Like you have to be like getting your heart rate way up in order to get into the high intensity interval training level. Um, anyways, I hope that this was kind of helpful. Um, if not, I'm really sorry. <laughs> He's, you guys can't even see him. He is such a brat. You want to say hi? You already did. You already did, you little toad. Um, but, okay. So this is my list. I basically just made a list of everything, like my favorite exercises that I have used and used and used and that I do use. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show them to you up here. You can pause the video. You can screenshot it. All you have to do to screenshot, um, like if you pause the video and you do control shift four, you'll be able to take a screenshot of the video and you can look at these exercises and put them together to what you want to do. So I'm just going to give you guys a standard example. So I'm going to show it to you guys. Um, my dog is jumping at the freaking camera. Do you have to go potty? The moral of the story is you can take any of those exercises and do them. Um, for example, the compound movements one. Sometimes I like to start my workouts out with a compound movement, and then you can do any form, you can do any variation of sets. You could do sets of three, sets of four, you could do sets of five, you could do sets of six. Um, it just kind of depends on what you want to do. Stop, Theo! You could do anything. You could do, if you're going for higher reps, um, you could do three sets, you could do four sets, it just kind of depends on what you want to do. So I hope that those helped. I hope that you guys can pull those exercises and pull them into your own sets. You don't have to superset things, but I do just because it keeps your heart rate up and it makes your workout more efficient in my opinion. So yeah, I hope that helped. <laughs> um, it's really hard to help people form workouts because I don't know who you are. Like I don't know what your level is. So you kind of have to do it yourself. Um, 
when you guys look at my workouts, like if I post them on Snapchat or something, they may be more difficult for you, they may be not as difficult for you. It honestly just depends. You're on your own level. So when people ask for workouts and stuff, I'm not going to give them to you because we're all different. Like, and I'm not getting paid to give you workouts, but I will give you what I do. And if they work for you, great. If they don't, um, alter them to work for you. So. Yeah, I hope that that was helpful in some way. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.